Hello, hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and we're back. We're going to work again on this 8x8 eight eight with the cinch. I'm going to show you a little more today. I'm a little more practiced. <laughs> so, um, here is the new 8x8 eight eight cutout, and the new design, I did not um, use Carol's suggestion or um, I can't remember your name I'm so sorry um, uh, someone suggested that I put a charm on here and I think that would be a great idea but I think I might add it afterwards so it doesn't get in the way I, on the machine um, Carol's suggestion was that I uh, print on the paper the recipe card. Now that is a good idea. You could just put recipe up here and then put in all the lines and you know. So I am planning on designing some like that. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there and see what happens. Um, but I'm, <laughs> I'm still testing myself on this 8x8 eight eight size. So um, bear with me a moment. First I wanted to just show you that um, this machine comes with this clamp over it and when you let it go this pops up. So you need to be careful of that because it pops up fast. Um, so this is the bigger cinch machine. There's a mini and then this one and then there's you know, special ones with um, special names on them. So this is how I learned to do it. Um, can you see what's what's on there? Okay, so here's the cinch machine. You can see the whole thing. And this is how I'm doing it. Now, I don't know if it's exactly right, but it works for an 8x8 eight piece of paper. So first you make sure all of these are pushed in because they're going to punch your holes. Um, when you pull these out, can you kind of see that that came out and it's out further? Then it won't punch a hole there. So push, make sure they're all pushed in and they're kind of fussy. I think they're a little fussy myself. There it went. Okay. They don't have to be all even. They're all kind of, you know. And so the first go around, you're going to punch it, punch the paper with every, every hole engaged. So see, they all went down. Coming up. It's hard to tell. But I can't get my camera down here. Okay, so then you move this. I just moved it all the way out. And then over here on the side, we have this. See how that goes down in a hole there? So pick it up to start. And then you're going to line this up with this and put that hole there where it's the paper where the hole in your paper right there and if you leave this number four in it's going to punch just a little tiny moon shape out right at the top of your paper so pull the four out so there's no hole punch there and then I just found that it's important to line it up so everything's aligned. Make sure that that little button over there is pressed down in the hole. See how they all went down again except for number four. It stayed out. That means there's no hole punch there. Now I'm pushing it back in right away so I remember. It's just for me. I lifted that little pin up and now you can see that they're all punched. Perfect! Isn't that cool? I love it. 
and that's noisy. So, now this part. Bear with me. Bear with me. I'll keep you around for a little bit. I'm going to start with this thing fully on there. And you put it, put this on so that these go under these little tiny hooks, right? Right there. See that? There's a little, oh no, you can't. Here? No. Here. It's still hard to see. Oh, let me bring it closer. Under these little tiny hooks right here. So let me put this on. Every one of these needs a hook. Not everyone, every other one needs a hook. And then they just kind of snap down in there. Now this one, let's see, is that right? I don't know if it needs a full hook. No, because the book's going to end there. Okay. So then I have my book. And it is going to go on this way. But you need to take this paper from the back and put it on the top. Okay. Okay, then you're going to take them from the back and put them on here. So let me take the first signature right there. I'm going to keep this right side up for me. You will have to figure out which works best for you to remember it. And right here I have a half pocket. So I'm going to put these on first. And I'm going with a one inch binding this time. Because I think that might work better. I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to make sure all of these are right side up as I go. And there's the first one. So let's take the next signature up to this. Each of these has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages plus an envelope. And the envelopes I just sealed at the back and then I cut them on an angle. And the reason that I'm keeping all of these papers in order is because I really messed myself up yesterday by not doing it this way. I, I really did. <laughs> just check my papers. Be sure they're right side up. Okay. So take the next group. Right here. And if you get these turned around, they actually do kind of run into this piece here quite a bit. So you do kind of have to keep them in the order that you punched them. So you can see I've been playing around with it a little bit more. Just so that I could <laughs> not let not let the cinch win. I have to I have to know how to use it. Because I thought it would be fun to use it for one. And I didn't want to buy it and then not use it. Because then I'd feel bad. And you want to make sure all of them are on. Otherwise you're going to have a loose paper and you won't be able to do anything with it. So I hope mine are all on. <laughs> this. Right there. And this one. And then 
these two. Do not put them upside down. See, that would make that the front. So keep them in the stacked order that they were. <laughs> and then put this on the correct way. Otherwise, if I'd have flipped it over, I'd have had this inside out and on the back. Okay, so here we are here. Now, where's my little tool? Oh dear, what could have happened? What could have happened to the tool? Oh, now this one's not the best. It always pinches me right there. So, we need to go ahead and back this out a little bit. And then we take this off of here. The reason I went with the one inch is um, this is a heavy, heavier duty wire than the three quarter inch. So I wanted to be sure that um, this is going to take me a second. I don't want to pinch myself with this again. The cutter's on that side, so I want to get it. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> I'm going to have to take my husband up on his offer for a better pair of pliers. Okay, keep your fingers out of this pinching mechanism because my goodness it hurts. And there we go. So, before I touch that, this is much more floppy than this than this one. I mean, they, they it feels heavier. I you know I don't know if it is, but it feels much heavier. Well, yeah, it's a, a one inch for one, but I mean even the wires are um, these are much this is a smaller gauge wire than this one is. So, or. Maybe the gauges go up from there. Okay, so now I need to move this. This is a one inch binding. So I need to move this up to one inch. It's, I think it's kind of noisy. Okay, so there's one inch. Now this is where I had a problem with it yesterday. Was um. I wasn't sure what it meant when it said to keep the wires flush with the body. I didn't know if it meant to keep these flush with the base or these flush with the back. Um, if you flush those with the the bottom, then it, I don't know. So let's look at our directions and see what it says. We must find English. Okay. So, if you didn't trim, trim, okay. Adjust for wire size, okay, we did. Okay, so it looks to me like in the picture that the wires, the curve of the wire is just touching the back. So let's try it. Okay. The thing I don't want is for it to end up like yesterday's. Um, and you can't have your fingers in here, guys. Because um, this, you're going to press it down. So if it means to have those engaged against the back, let's find out. Oh, let's get this other one in there all the way. I kind of wish they had something to hook it on to. You know. Yeah, see, it's not, um, it's not going well. I can tell you that right now. Okay. Let's get this one in there. Okay, so we're right there. 
let's go ahead and put this back in there. It doesn't press down as hard on this end as it does that end. Now, it's got to go tighter than this because everything's too loose. I can see that by looking at it. Okay. Let's find out if they're going to pop off. Because if this can't be engaged here completely, it will come off. So yesterday I went through and ended up tucking these under, but this is a lot heavier wire. So I don't know if I can do that this time. But let's see. Let's try it. Eee! See, it came off. Okay. And where I was shoving it down, it didn't come off. So I gotta get those back on. And come back over here with the machine. Now that's tight. So let me bring it clear down here to this end where it seems to be making a, a tighter connection. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, and I'm still going to um and I do think that I will glue a little bead on here because that's quite sharp, guys. Okay, so I'm tucking those in. don't like that. They need to go in between. So that is the one thing that I can see that I think is um, not so good is that it's not, it doesn't engage well enough to keep these from coming off. So the idea is, is that this back, this piece comes back around to here And ah, see, it's coming off already. The idea is that this all gets tucked in to that. So let me flip all of that that way. Do this. And there it is, but you can see that it, it really wants to come off of there. I mean, it's almost like these have to be really engaged here in the hole to prevent that paper from coming off of there. I mean, it doesn't hurt to adjust it. I'd rather adjust it than not. Uh. 
because if I was to make notebooks, you know, for um, diaries or something for um, writing, just writing journals, writing notebooks or whatever, you wouldn't want them popping out. I mean, nothing worse than a page popping out somewhere and somebody picks it up. <laughs> it's like, oops. Didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, so I think I have them all in there. And that is the back page. Okay. So, it doesn't round off. It has this flat spot in it. Now, I don't know if the flat spot's supposed to go in here. No, that couldn't work because then this would be up on the top and that would put the back page back up on the top bit. So, sorry if I'm out of camera shot. So I'm going to, since this back closed, and put it out over there. Let me, let me cinch it this way. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, so now here's a pocket. Now I can decorate this page. I can decorate any of the pages I want to. Because I used a, a one inch spine this time. It gives me more space. So um, I like the idea of having all this free space. Um, but I also like the idea of making a pocket on these yellow pages. So like on this one, I actually have this, but we could put this there and then decorate this pocket. That would be something to do. So anyway, let's just see. I'll show you the paper I used. I'm using up some more of this paper. Seemed like it would be fun to just write on. And there's that last page. So I definitely want to do something there. And it's probably going to be putting paper on it. And I do want to decorate the little pockets. So there's another one. Let's see how they work. I think I need to put a little thumb notch right here in the front. I think that would help. But yeah, see how good that'll work for a recipe card? Ooh, should have done one on each page. Yeah, there we go. I think that's going to be nice. And then here's another one. Yeah, and I, I definitely want to decorate those. And I definitely want to put something on that one. Um, this one, I mean, you could actually glue this on two sides. And it would become part of this page. And you'd have two pockets. Or you could just let it go. And you have full page and a pocket for putting items in. So, yeah, I think this will work out a lot better. It needed the bigger binding part. I feel like this page doesn't go with this journal, but it does. Here's another pocket. So, eight pages between each signature. I think it makes 164 pages total, front and back to right on, plus... Um, signature centers that you can't really write on. 
Um, the reason is it's glossy, so you'd have to use um, a special pen, a felt pen, um, that like a sharpie that dries quickly. Um, any gel pens, I think, would probably smear the ink. So there's that pocket. And we are at the last one, which we can't flip over now because we're here. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it, I get it. But I sure don't like the way it sits like that, but that's that's what it does. Okay, so let's quickly decorate um, this first pocket. And let me just grab a piece of paper here. Oh, these were some that I had sewn together because I was trying to make a, figure out what to do with these pages. And I think I'll just use that one there. So I sewed them together and uh, it wasn't working very well. So I haven't given up on them. Now I'm going to put them, you know, you can't get all the way in there. But we can leave a little bit of area all the way around. So I'll take this off up there and here. And I'll give it just a little bit of space on both sides. Ooh, that's a pretty side. I like that. So we'll cut that off, and we cut that off. Now let's decide, big birdhouse or red. Let's go with the big birdhouse. Okay, so we can see it's going to have a little bit of space all the way around it. So right here, I'm going to cut down this way to right about there. And hopefully I get it straight enough that it looks neat. Neat and tidy. Okay, there's that one. There's that one. Okay. Crossing my fingers. Mm, I can see that's not straight on that side. So I'm going to go ahead and chomp that down a little bit. Sorry about that noise. And I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to leave that little area all the way around. And I'm going to glue it. And then we'll glue one on the back. So how is everybody doing? I hope you all have a fine 4th of July here in the United States. So, yeah, we aren't planning anything for 4th of July. Um, just keeping our pets company, I guess. Kid, kids didn't invite us or anything, so. But they know we have the dog. So, one of us would have to stay with her. She uh, got her stitches out yesterday. And um, he said, of course, that the leg wasn't healed all the way. So we had to continue with her um, care on it, you know, um, keep
keeping her off of it and stuff like that. I need to cut this apart because that's where I um where I sewed it. Okay, there's that one. I know, I hear you. Waste not, want not. I was ready to toss the whole paper pack away because I couldn't. Um, anyway, it's beautiful paper pack and I absolutely love it. So now that I'm finding ways that I can more easily use it, that's great. Um, I think I'll put this on there. Because, let's see, or this, this matches there, and the yellow goes over here, and that blue kind of goes with the birdhouse, so let's go that way with it. I should have kept the other one before I put it down. I should have kept it and traced around it. Okay, so I'm going to cut it up there first. Oh, there's the line. Where did the line go? I've crossed the line, guys. <laughs> okay, there's that one. Okay, so. Let's put a line right here. Oh, first we need to, I'm sorry. First we have to cut it off on this, the going this way. Right there. Oh, don't put that on there. You might tear your paper. Good heavens. Now, yep, 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 okay. So right there, and right about there. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay. It's so hard to see the lines on here. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I've got to try it again. I've got to make my lines better. Okay, so we're going to put one right there. And the other one is going to go right here. Okay, I can see him this time. <laughs> I couldn't see him last time. Right there. And right there. Now i got to find the old ones and erase them. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yay. I like that. I think that looks cool with a little bit of the craft paper show in there. Okay. I don't know why I, um, I'm losing my voice all the time. I just, you know, it's just crazy. Um, it never came back after I got sick with COVID. It just stayed. It never went away. So I don't know if now it's just allergies or what, but I sure don't like it. 
don't like having to clear my throat all the time. Don't mind once in a while. Oh dear. Get that on there right, or at least semi right. Okay. There we go. That will have to do. It's a little more crooked than I would like. We thought maybe with the glossy paper it might move a little better. Okay. So there we go. Oh yeah, that looks great. Now if we want it to be a recipe book, we can put recipe cards in it. Like this. If we don't want it to be a recipe book and we want it to be a journaling place, then we can put make a journaling card out of this piece that sticks up. You know, all kinds of things we could do with it. This would make a nice tag, wouldn't it? So, let's quickly make a, a tag and see what it would look like in there. Oops, better turn this the right way, huh? Okay, so... Now, where would we cut it over here? I mean, we don't want to really cut all the birds apart. This is going to hurt, guys. This is going to hurt. There we go. And then... Hmm. I had my punch here. Oh, here it is. I love this punch. I get it. I got it from... Um, scrapbookingwithme.com There we go. So a nice little tag. And of course we'd have to put holes in it. Like this. And put a whatchamacallit in there. Let's see if how much too tall it is. Ooh, it just fits. So let's cut that down a little bit so it's not hanging out all over the place there. Oops, now, now why is it doing that? Okay, it likes to be right there. So we'd have to put something on the back. Let's rotate it this way. There we go. I like that better. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go. I showed you how to get that in, and, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so there we are. So, I love it so far. I'll get better at it. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you had a good time. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.